Subs, it's your girl, Lisha Lamay, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. So, you already know we're back with Love Island, episode 12, y'all. Let's get straight into it. So, obviously, we just left off with a recoupling, and y'all seen that Jess made a decision to couple up with Sean rather than Ronnie, which I agree with Jess, like I said in the last review. She had to put herself first. I don't know. I don't think that every time when Jess gets done, like, after the recoupling, how Harry is just there and present every conversation they have, I feel like she is very much eavesdropping, and then it ends up in the little conflict or the little arguments that they have. And then it is like Harry is trying to play victim over Jess and make it like Jess is that the angry one or being like a bully to Harriet, which I think Jess' feelings is valid. I get Harriet if you like someone this is Love Island, but I don't know, y'all. I don't think that... Do y'all agree with Jess saying that she is more direct than Harriet? Because I do agree with Jess saying that, to me, Harriet is like you very much keep your cards close to your chest. Even like I told y'all with the whole kiss and the hideaway, it's like, do we keep this to ourselves? So, what is y'all thoughts on the whole Ronnie, Harriet, and Jess? I'm tired of talking about the whole triangle. That's why I'm happy that it was almost over, apparently. But I don't see Jess giving Sean too much attention right now. Probably hence why they brought in the three new bombshells. We're just going to hop into Ao and Mimi. I don't get why Ao was so pressed about not talking to Mimi that night time. And he said that he wasn't looking forward to sleeping with her. Because I don't see anything wrong with Mimi's conversation, obviously. Like, Ao. I think he is very upset that Uma chose to back herself out of the situation. So, he was, like, taking down on Mimi. Because y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about Mimi's speech. Because I don't see what A.O. problem was about the whole thing. Obviously, at nighttime, y'all seen that Ronnie and Harriet could not wait. Which, hence, I don't get why Harriet told Jess that she didn't feel so great about coupling up with Ronnie. And she basically had the decision made for her already. But when she talked to Joey, it's like, I'm so happy to be coupled up with Ronnie. And I can't wait to kiss him in the bed tonight. So... I don't know. I very much feel like Harry is sneaky, which I think that's why Jess should just exit herself out of the situation like she did. But I don't see Jess and Sean working out. And y'all seen, like I said, I couldn't wait to get in the bed that night time, which I see why Jess left. And I don't know. To me, Ronnie is a player. Y'all seen that the challenge at the end. That's why it's like, who is playing the most game? And who do y'all think is like being double sided or whatever? And then Ronnie got the whole like player that card like put on him, which I agree. Do y'all think Ronnie is playing? Or do y'all think not? Because y'all seen right after him and Harry in the bed the last night. And then when he had breakfast in the morning time. And the three new bombshells came in. He's like, I'm not focused on me and Harry. And I'm looking at Tiffany. Speaking of the bombshells, y'all seen when they came in that Joey knew who Grace was. Obviously, he said they had a little fling. And y'all see Sam. I don't know. I don't think Sam should just like. Because he liked the Sam because she's confident. And she is confident. Like strong. But I think she should move more confident in herself and not like automatically say that she's gonna push herself back or pull herself back in a whole her and Joey situation which to me Joey was being like reassuring coming up to Sam and making sure she's okay and like just because me and Grace have history doesn't mean that you have to pull yourself back so y'all let me know what y'all think about the whole Joey Sam and the Grace situation should Sam just pull herself back because she don't want to get hurt or should she still be pursuing her and Joey and do y'all think Joey is playing it cool right now not even at the challenge at the end because the challenge is a whole nother thing. But I don't blame Joey for kissing the two new bombshells because this is Love Island and that's what the bombshells is here for. But y'all let me know y'all comments on that whole situation. Do y'all think Joey and Grace have unfinished business? And y'all seen in tomorrow night's episode that, which I think first time ever happened in Love Island history where they're going to have like a whole sleepover. So where do y'all think they just going to sleep at? What is going to happen? Okay. And who do y'all think that they're going to choose? Do y'all think Grace is going to choose Joey or do you think Grace is going to choose Omar? Because you've seen that her and Omar conversation went very good too. And she said that he's very much her type and vice versa. So, and then y'all seen that, speaking of Omar and Uma, even though they're coupled up, it looks like Uma is getting to know the wheel. And it seems like she might have, because she did have a hard time with her AO and Mimi little triangle that they had going on, which I'm happy that she let herself out of just like Jess did. But to me, Uma completely left herself out of it. So I'm happy that she's getting to know the new guy, Will, as well. And I'm happy that he, like, is very much open to get to know a lot of the girls. Even Sam, if she's willing to get to know him. Speaking of the challenge at the end, y'all, do y'all think the boys was reckless? Just like Karen and him and Nicole saying that they were closed off, but when it was the whole who you would have had a, a whatever way, a y'all know what I'm saying. I don't know if I'm saying on here, but... He said that he was very much a cop-out and he would have chose Grace instead of choosing Jess. So, what do y'all think about the whole Karen and Nicole situation? Do y'all think they're going to last or what? Because I think Karen has shown his new cards now that the bombshells came in. 
such as Ronnie, and I can't wait to see the next episode because I hope Harry feels like this whole situation was like pointless that Ronnie is like, I don't even remember breakfast. I'm checking out Tiffany. So that's my thoughts on tonight's episode. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts on everything down below. Make sure you guys like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a brand new video. Stay blessed, my loves.